Aladdin Creations. Sweet, how is your studies? Great, mom. Today I was learn about Jardiasis. Jardiasis, what is that? Jardiasis is an intestinal illness, caused by a microscopic parasite called Jardia lamblia. It is a fairly common cause of diarrheal illness. Cases may occur sporadically, or in clusters or outbreaks. Who gets Jardiasis? Anyone can get Jardiasis, but it tends to occur more often in people in institutional settings, people in daycare centers, foreign travelers and individuals, who consume improperly treated surface water. How is the parasite spread? The Jardia parasite, is passed in the feces of an infected person, and may contaminate water or food. Person-to-person -person transmission may also occur in daycare centers or other settings where hand washing practices are poor. Animals such as beavers, dogs and cats may also carry Jardia. What are the symptoms of Jardiasis? People exposed to Jardia may experience mild or severe diarrhea, gas, abdominal cramps and greasy stools. Some people have no symptoms. Fever is rarely present. Occasionally, some will have chronic diarrhea over several weeks or months, with significant weight loss. How soon do symptoms appear? People may become ill 3 to 25 days after exposure but usually within 10 days. How long can an infected person carry Jardia? The carrier stage may last from a few weeks to a few months. Where are the Jardia parasites found? Jardia has been found in infected people and wild and domestic animals. Beavers may be a potential source of Jardia contamination of lakes, reservoirs, and streams, but human fecal wastes are probably most important. Should an infected person be excluded from work, school or daycare? People with active diarrhea, who are unable to control their bowel habits, may need to be excluded from settings, such as they care or group activities, where they may present a risk to others. After they have been treated and have recovered, they should be permitted to return. What is the treatment of Jardiasis? Antiparasitic drugs are often prescribed by doctors to treat Jardiasis. However, some individuals may recover on their own without medication. That's great. What can a person or community do to prevent the spread of Jardiasis? Carefully wash hands thoroughly after toilet visits. Carefully dispose of sewage wastes, so as not to contaminate surface or groundwater. Avoid consuming improperly treated drinking water. Boil emergency water supplies. Hunters, backpackers, hikers and campers should not drink unboiled water directly from rivers, streams or lakes. Great. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you, contact me. Also, you can be my pattern and help me more creations.